Hello, I'm April, and today I'm going to be presenting on Babesia canis. Okay, you may be asking yourself, what is Babesia canis? Well, it's considered a protozoa, and it targets the red blood cells um, of its host. And Babesia, as a species, can affect so many different things, like humans, dogs. Um, but for the sake of this project, I'm going to be focusing on Babesia canis. And um, interestingly enough, greyhounds are more susceptible um, to catch it, which I found that pretty fascinating. Okay, so what transmits it? Well, its primary vector is the brown dog tick. And here's a lovely little picture of it right here. Um, its scientific name, okay, see if I can pronounce this right. It's Rhipicephalus sanguinis, okay. And um, so that's its vector. Now moving on to its life cycle. Okay, so what happens is the tick will go ahead and bite the dog. And when it bites the dog, it will release um, sporozotites um, from its saliva. And those go into the dog and affect the red blood cell. Um, after the sporocyte enter the red blood cell, um, it will use something called binary fission to reproduce asexually. Uh, and after it reproduces within the red blood cell, it will then rupture and free something called metrozotites. And those go on to affect the other red blood cells within the host. Okay. Um, so what are the symptoms of the Babesia? Well, here they are. Um, symptoms include fever, anemia, lethargy, um, anorexia, jaundice, thrombocytopenia. Um, these could, you know, be symptoms for so many other things, so diagnosis is really important with this one. Um, luckily, there is um, a guaranteed way of diagnosing it, um, and what you have to do is you have to look within the blood. Um, you have to prepare a standard right stain blood smear, put that under a microscope, and look for these guys. As you can see, um, they are big pleomorphic teardrop shaped. Um, intercellular organisms um, and they're seen in pairs. So if you see that, that's like Babesia's signature. Okay, so now that you know how to diagnose it, how do you treat it? Okay, well, turns out there's a few different antimicrobial medications um, that can be used to treat it. However, treatment is very difficult because um, Babesia is very hardy within the host and hard to get rid of. Um, so usually in that case, um, they're considered carriers for life, which makes um, the prevention so much more important. Um, keeping up with your monthly flea and tick preventatives is, you know, going to really help you out here. Um, also, if you ever go hiking in wooded areas or in the forest, you know, just um, check your dog for ticks, you know, thoroughly to make sure that everything's okay. Um, maybe even check yourself for ticks because Babesia can affect humans as well. Okay, so that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.